today I'm actually going to try and get out of the house. I've been stuck inside, intentionally, working on some things on the computer, trying to put up a whole lot of KDP books. Um, I've been adding things to my Etsy store, just looking at ways to make some passive income um, while I've got the chance, because I'm back at work next week. I wanted to go and check out some stationery shops in around Hobart. I think I might stop in at the tip shop and see if I can find something to flip. I'm actually really interested to see whether or not I can actually find something, do it up or whatever, and then pop it onto Marketplace and make a few extra dollars on that. So that might be a future video if you're interested in sticking around. Subscribe, you might be able to see that one. So just a simple shopping trip. It's a beautiful day outside. Um, so come for a drive. The car's been in the driveway now for a <laughs> several days. I probably should take it out for a run just to make sure it works. The battery doesn't go flat. Let's go. So yeah, first up is the spotlight. And I've come here for some heat and bond and a pillow, but also to have a bit of a browse around in their art section just to see what they've got. Not that I need anything else, but you know, it's kind of nice. But I really much preferred the spotlight in town. The one that, the old one that was in town was in this really old dilapidated building, but the whole top floor used to be full of craft up stuff. And I could easily spend you know, an hour just wandering around. In fact, quite often I'd have to run out of spotlight because the parking meter was pretty much out. Is there even a good way to choose a pillow? I mean, give it the squeeze test. Don't know. memory foam one so hopefully it's okay. It's interesting to note how expensive some of the items in Spotlight are getting. I don't remember ever paying this much for paint or scrapbook pads. Got out of there fairly unscathed. All right, managed to get my pillow, some heat and bond, tea towels for five dollars, some cardstock that was four dollars, and then I needed some thread to fix up some bras and some glue. Now, seeing as though I am all the way over at Glenorchy here in Hobart, I'm going to cut back through Glenorchy and head down toward North Hobart. There is an art place there called Ad Art. I'm just going to stop in there and have a little cheeky look. It must be my lucky day. I've actually got a park almost out front. <laughs> How lucky is this? All right, I reckon I'm gonna stop there. I'm just gonna go and grab a bite to eat and then I'm going to head back over onto the Eastern Shore and head to Bunnings, go to the tip shop, see what we can find and head home. I just don't feel like driving all the way into Hobart City and trying to find a park. The place that I was particularly gonna go and have a look at was called Artery and the other place was Typo. And I mean, if you live here in Australia, I don't know if they have it overseas, um, typo is pretty commonplace. Had a look at some of the papers in there. Silk screen papers was kind of what I was looking at. $70 a sheet, $38 a sheet, $28 a sheet. So it's really quite expensive, but the designs are absolutely beautiful. I just could justify spending that much money on a piece of paper today. I've just pulled into the tip shop here at Mornington and the car park is full. It's absolutely chock as full. It's almost like everyone's, at, it's like Woolies. Well, let's go see what we can find. There were a few items here that I really could have picked up 
and maybe tried to have a bit of a flip of. I was looking for something a bit smallish to start though. I don't want to go full in on something huge that I won't get through. I just remembered as I was going through this tip shop that I do have a cabinet that my son left here that I, he asked me to give away for him. So I might even try out my skills on that first before I even consider going any further with this type of hobby. Well, I didn't find anything in there today. So instead, I'm probably gonna have to go through what we have at home, because I tell you what, I could clean out the covers and probably make a few bucks there. So perhaps that's what I do. Okay, so safely back home. This is what I went out for. <laughs> I've come back with a fair bit more. Um, some of it that you've seen when I went into Adart. I think that's the only thing that I would I haven't shown you and I did go to Woolies and just grab some rice bubbles of all things but the um got home two packages at the door so that's exciting as well so let me show you what I got from Adart so this is just two Posca markers a little bit of linen thread and in here they've just placed in some oil pastels for me so these are Holby N ones little project that I had in mind so yeah so that plus the things that I purchased at spotlight plus whatever's come in the package <laughs> this has got a, a makeup bag I think it's got a book making kit in it as well so you know you're here well I just open this up and then that will be the pretty much the vlog of my day so this is the few things that I bought from Timu just got some clips so try and get those cords behind my desk cleared up um, this is the makeup bag it's a fold-out job so I can use it when I um, go cruising I've got I bought this oh some stencils I got a new brush I needed a, um, a desktop organiser for some of my diaries. Okay, in this box, I've got a whole bunch of these. They're like little to-do post-its. But when I go back to work um, next week, I've got a couple there. I might give them out to the guys in the office as a little welcome back to work gift. Never have enough post-its in my view so quite a collection there and last but not least is this box which is the order that I placed in the first place but in here are all the things that you need to do some book making so it's like a bookmaking kit so we've got little clips, some threads, needles, bone folders, awls, there's a steel ruler down there, you've got the curved hooks, a brush for the glue, some more clips. This is not a bad kit for the price that I pay for it. Very happy with that. So we'll have a bit of a play with that in a future video as well. I'll show you how to make up a book. And I needed a new makeup bag, so I've just unzipped this one. And um, it's one that will sort of fold out. It has a hook on the end. Because as you know, we do like to travel around a little bit. And I was digging into the one I currently have. So now I can just put everything in it neatly and hang it up wherever we're staying. And I've got a, a decent makeup bag, so it make, also makes me clean the other one out, which is a good idea. So I really like that.
I ordered some journals. These are Leaf Street journals. They're 160 GSM and they've got blank pages. Um, I'm going to use these for illustrative journaling. I noticed that there's something else down here. So it looks like I might have had a few little freebies put in. So what have we got here? Little magnet. Little magnet clips. So, oh. <laughs> so I've got four little magnet clips to go with the four diaries. How cool is that? So yes, Leaf Street. I got these from the pencil case place online. These are great little journals. And that's the perfect place for them. So there you go. There's a little bit of a personal vlog just coming on a little bit of a shopping trip with me with a nice surprise at the end with some packages at the door. So if you've enjoyed this little bit of a daily look, give us a like and stick around. In the next video, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about Kindle um, Direct Publishing or KDP for short. If this is something that you're interested in, make sure that you hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out that video. All right, time for me to head. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.